Holiday season is finally here. 2020 has been a rough year and we could all use a little extra holiday spirit and caffeine. We went around Bethesda in search of the best holiday beverages. We ordered a pumpkin spice latte and the barista's recommended beverage from each spot. We judged the lattes on price, presentation, taste, and whether they delivered on that overall warm, fuzzy feeling. We started off with a classic. Starbucks is well known for their seasonal drinks and is actually the creator of the pumpkin spice latte. Walking in honestly felt like walking onto the set of a Hallmark movie. We of course ordered a pumpkin spice latte and out of all their holiday specials, the barista recommended their caramel brulee latte. We ordered talls, which were each $4.75. With the pumpkin, we could definitely taste pumpkin spice, but it had an artificial aftertaste and overpowered the coffee. After the pumpkin spice latte, we were concerned about the caramel brulee that it would be too sweet, but we were pleasantly surprised. The first flavor that hits you is coffee, followed by a sweet, nutty nuance. We loved the texture provided by the crunchy caramel topping. While it was a delicious drink, it didn't particularly remind us of the holidays. Next, we walked over to Clove and Cedar for our second round of lattes. While the store itself did not have any decorations, the cheerful and spirited baristas gave this experience a holiday feel. Again, we ordered their version of a pumpkin spice latte called the pumpkin pie latte and their other seasonal drink, the maple latte. The cups had minimal designs, but the drinks themselves were visually appealing. They were the kind of drinks you'd want with you to snuggle up by the fireplace on a cold winter day. The coffee had a very bold, almost citrusy acidity. In the pumpkin pie latte, we found that the tangy flavor of the coffee conflicted with the spice profile of the pumpkin and overpowered the beverage. In the maple drink, we felt the same coffee flavor overpowered the maple flavor in the beverage, taking away from its holiday feel. Next up is my personal go-to Dunkin' Donuts. When we went, the store hadn't been decorated, but when I went again the next week, the store had gotten in the holiday spirit. In addition to the pumpkin spice latte, we ordered one of their featured holiday drinks, the peppermint mocha. The pumpkin spice latte was $3.79 and the peppermint mocha was $3.29 for smalls, making this the cheapest option. The drinks themselves weren't very festive, but they had seasonal cups. Their pumpkin spice latte was honestly the worst drink of the day. It had zero coffee flavor, barely tasted like pumpkin spice, and was cloyingly sweet. After the pumpkin spice latte, we were worried the peppermint mocha would be way too sweet, but it actually turned out to be our favorite holiday drink of the day. It reminded me of candy canes and Christmas cookies and tasted like a seasonal hot chocolate drink with a hint of coffee. As we walked into Phil's, we saw a lot of their fall decorations. Both the drinks we ordered were $4.60. The presentation of the drinks was pretty simple. Phil's didn't have a pumpkin drink, but the barista recommended the ginger iced coffee as a replacement. The ginger iced coffee has an overall great taste. The ginger tastes like pumpkin and the drink is not too sweet. We recommend this drink to people who like the taste of ginger. The Mocha Tesoro has a rich chocolate flavor. Chocolate is definitely the prominent flavor, not so much coffee. This drink doesn't have the most holiday flavor. It overall tastes like a sophisticated hot chocolate. We recommend this drink to people who like the taste of chocolate. Walking into La Pond, there is always a homey feel. Our first drink we ordered is the warm apple cider, which was $5. It had a hint of lemon that was essential to the flavor. This hot drink was the perfect temperature along with the perfect smell. The drink had an ideal balance of sweet but not too sweet. Our second drink is the iced pumpkin latte that was $4. It had a very subtle pumpkin taste. Because of the subtle pumpkin flavors, you could really taste the coffee. Both drinks were given in very traditional cups. We recommend these drinks to people who don't love sweet drinks. It's been a stressful year, so don't forget to treat yourself this holiday season. Happy holidays from the black and white.